Well, every day is something new. And tonight, we have a low beam fault. And it says inspect and change the bulb. Well, do they want me to inspect it or to change it? Regardless, we're going to go outside and see what's up. This came on while I was driving. So let's walk around here. Oh, look, it don't come on. Well, we see that it's the outside bulb. It's the outside bulb. So we'll open up the hood. These are tricky. Flip it up, pull it back. Flip it up, pull it back. Grab this handle, put your foot down here, and then pull it open. Oh, look. Let me turn this thing off. Oh, I remember that. Peterbilt I drove. This thing here was stuck. Oh, but this one is turning. Oh, look. It's all loose already. Alright. It's coming loose. Maybe. Might be. Froze up. That nut might be spinning in there. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We'll pull it open. Alright. Hold on. Let me turn on my light. There we go. Alright, the outside one's going to be behind this cover. There we go. And we're going to look at the bulb and it says it's a... Oh, we can't read it. We'll look, we'll look at it closer early later. But it says it's a 642... 64211 maybe. Well, let's unscrew it. Coming out of there. And we can see that the filament is bad. Well, I can. You can't. Yeah, there it is floating around in there. So, we need to disconnect this little snap right here. And let's look at it. Alright, so we're going to pull this up and pull the bulb out. Pull this up and pull out the bulb. I wish I could hold this while I do it. But I can't. Huh. No, that's a two-handed operation. Hold on. Okay, I got the bulb. Let's turn off the lights. Get the wallet. I need the wallet. And so the truck's not a big old eyesore out in the parking lot. Flip this down. Safety catch. And close the big old noggin. Let's go see if they got the bulb. Yeah. Let's go see if they have the bulb in my local Walmart. I don't know what I was thinking about earlier. 
but it's an H11. Nah, that's a fairly common bulb, I think. A lot of fog light uses this one with the metal. So we'll stroll over to Automotive, which is at the far corner from the door that is unlocked. They're making a lot of noise in here tonight. Here we go. Where are they? Why are they doing inventory? Look what those damn bulbs cost. It's 23 bucks. This H11 is 19. And the H11 is 13. That H11 is $10. This one doesn't specify anything special about it. So it's going to get this one. Yeah, that's it. It's a $10 bulb. And the reason why we're only getting one is because... This is a rental truck, and uh, I'm just not going to spring for a bunch of money for it. Okay, let's get this little bugger paid for. Start scanning. Well, you see it? Yeah, there it is, 1188. And uh, that's that. Yeah, debit card. Let's pay. Insert cash or select payment type. Purchase. No, we don't want no cash back. Took long enough. And there's my receipt. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. What's over O1 in there? Put the receipt in my shirt pocket. Turn that in later. Let's go. Let's go put it in. That's a heck of a walk. Set you down. Okay, there's only a couple of tricks to installing these bulbs. The primary trick is, is to do not touch the glass because the oils on your finger or fingers can stick to the glass and the glass gets very hot as you see the filament is on this one. It's in it nice. The, the oils will get very hot and could cause the bulb to break after it's installed. So the next trick is to not connect it yet but to find the notches if you'll notice these notches well if only I could touch them. These here these notches these three tabs they fit in here a certain way because these holes are the same size and you stick it in there and give a little turn till it pops into place and then the second trick is to plug it in after you install the bulb 
There we go. Hear that last snap. All right. And now we turn it on to see if it works. I can, uh, can I can see already that it does. Oh yeah, nice and bright. So we take this tab here and just kind of flop it back in there because it's this is supposed to come loose. But let me show you this. It's got this speed nut and it's all rusty. And I'm going to turn this, and as you can see, the screw don't turn. It's stripped out inside this head. So you just have to do the best you can with it. Let's uh, put this tab in here. And we'll pull this up. Pull this plastic up and slide it in there. And then we'll pop that down there. And that should work. Put this tab out, this tab out, and just kind of flop it in there. And we've done it. Oh no, we forgot to put the cover on. So just grab it and pull it back. Here's your cover. And stick it on there. And you might have to grab it with both hands or with your palm and give it a twist. I think it's upside down because the lettering is upside down. Well, it doesn't matter. No, anyway, just snap it. All right, once again, put this in here like so. Sneaking in here. Put this in here. There we go. And like so. And then pop that in there. And we're done. Well, we're not 100% done. We gotta put our stuff away. The safety catch. Didn't show you that very closely. You just push this down. And this releases this from if you look in there you can see the shaft of that shock and what it does it bumps against the body of this so you flip that up and that notch clears everything and you can close your hood all right now this this goes this goes inside this like so, and you just push it down. This hooks over that, and you just pop it down. All right, we'll look at this bulb again. I don't have to worry about touching it. It's, it's wasted. All right, let's look. There's the filament floating around in there. See it? See it down in the tip? There it is. All right, it's all done. We can go now. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Always appreciate it very, very much.